Yeah, that's what I wanted to show you guys. Look at that. Welcome guys to Beach Shop 2021 Saturday Parade. This is the main day event. The cars are coming in through right now. That pink Thunderbird you see there is what you can win today. Amazing. I let you enjoy the cars guys. Great stuff happening today guys. Once a year this little town gets light up with muscle cars and classics coming from all over the country. Amazing. Elvis and Marilyn coming through. <laughs>
see you, man. It's James with his amazing uh, 1963 409 Impala. This charger, man, wow. It's a fully original 1970 Charger RT. Restore the dump in this single nut and bolt. As you can see, the cars are now um, parking on the sides and on the center. And um, yeah, it's they are taking formation, guys. I'll take you around for a tour right away after they organize the whole thing. I could probably get a feed first. <laughs> I haven't had breakfast. All right, guys, we're here now that the cars have all parked up. I just want to show you this amazing um, fastback. I couldn't really show you very well yesterday at the Ponimana Beach Parade, but here it is, guys. Hoffenhauser, very clean. But I guess the, the main feature is the color, isn't it? Billet wheels, billet um, mirrors, everything. Perfect, eh? Look at that. Looks like a candy. The stripes are probably, uh, it's hard to describe. It's like a candy color. Candy white. What an incredible design for this car, isn't it? Not beside the 65 one. The evolution. Wow. And then here we have Supernova and that big fish this, that super dope 70 Cuda built by DTM Wheels New Zealand
What's your favorite Mopar? I think the 70 Cuda goes pretty close to it for me. Billy Specialties steering wheel. All the gauges. And then Supernova, which is the one we saw at QMU a few months ago. Go check out my video, guys. Also, a really big shout out to Harley Davidson for bringing us all these beauties. There is no classic car event without Harleys, isn't it? Dear Sayers, Very nice Chevelle with a big block. Looks like to be a 454. Brolics. I really like 67 Chevelles. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, no, good car. So the situation is, as you can see, super crowded compared to last year. Um, there are lots of cars all over the place. It will be really, really challenging for me to show it, to show it all to you guys. So what I'm planning to do is to head over to uh, the muscle car lane. You'll see later why it's called like that. The really cool Trans Am series. Corvette as you can see this is uh, an actual race car there's not much interiors going on monster race car Meguiar sponsored look at the body kit unbelievable <laughs> what a beast okay. and then the sustained Chevy theme we get here to full sand and mean 69 I already covered these two last year a bit chop but I never get tired to see them again brilliant brilliant cars both of them I don't know what catches me the most if it's this orange of the 69 Camaro or the Pro Charger of this 70 this engine bay is so tidy man wow. made a special on this car go have a look at it guys always feels good to see double trouble this galaxy it's a pretty mean machine very tidy very clean dark green color and a 445 screaming big block for him. You heard this car, we, we spotted an Americana and now you heard it here too, the Beach of 2021. This Dodge Coronet RT 1970. This is currently owned by Classic Car Cover Insurance. It's an insurance company here in New Zealand and this car is all original. Packing a 440 Magnum, and yeah, it's just pretty much as as much as it came came out of the factory. Really stock. Classic cover. I really like these side scoops. That's what makes this car so special to me. Just really really nice touches of design there. Dodge left here and there for us to appreciate, isn't it? I don't know if I prefer this one to the Super B, but they're pretty much the same car, so either one would do for me. <laughs> what about you guys? More Impalas. More Impalas. Impalas everywhere. That's amazing. And we have a festival of colors on this side of the road. We have a cherry red, we have the pink official Mopar color, high impact, we have this chameleon Nova, which we spot many times at other, other events. Let me refresh you in regards to the engine is packing. Look at that. A very unique layout with this uh, supercharger and the intake going from here, split intake merging into one and going straight through. The carburetor 
very interesting. Interiors are very simple. B and M gear ship and gearbox. It's a chameleon because depending on where the sun hits it, it changes color. You never know what kind of color you're getting. Amazing. That's how you not don't get tired about your car, isn't it? Now, how many times can you say you have seen a 65 GTO? 65 not many I would say not for me at least 65 GTO this is actually the first time I'm seeing one oh, actually sorry this is a 64 unbelievable this is where it all started the culmination of the 67 GTO, the GOAT, the greatest of all time. Yep, you got it. Pontiac GTO. Convertible as well, isn't it? Very nice. Another great clash of colors here with this black Impala SS, followed by this manual Camaro, and then obviously this. Uh, banana yellow charger that I showed you before is this yellow a bit too much for you guys it's probably not for me wow great car eh any high later the one I showed you before pretty wide and big Simmons wheels six-speed manual nice I suspect a Tremec possibly it says Hurst and then um, yep LSA swap what a beast eh very very special car indeed Show you more about the interiors. Oh, those are Corvette seats. There you go. New gauges. As you can see. But yeah, that's six-speed manual. I'd really like to know what it is. Very nice color combination as well. the craziness that's happening on the other side of the side street because the main road is blocked due to the festival thingy all the other cars are cruising down here I discovered this, this road last year and I came back just to show you guys how cool it is
charger. guys after main avenue we come all the way here to the park and this is officially being called ford avenue for this year's this year's edition uh, there, is a, there are a few chevys as i will show you later on but it's mostly fords as we can see here we start with the thunderbird club of new zealand or something it's only thunderbirds all, all of them all the thunderbirds all the model years Convertible, hardtop, slam, restored, classic, lowrider, all Thunderbirds. Look at that. And as I was saying, we don't go too far before finding something like a Chevy or a Oldsmobile 442. So yeah, pretty cool more Fords for trucks Slant 6 Valiant I bet you guys don't see these ones very often isn't it <laughs> Australian made 6 pack RT <laughs> very interesting so for you, all of you that don't know this charger is called Charger Valiant is the Australian version, Australian made only charger. Pontiac convertible. driveway isn't it look at that <laughs> amazing this lane here that goes to the beach uh, it gets filled, filled with cars every year oh that galaxy is amazing look at the color of this thing is there a bronze yeah wow beautiful isn't it Trimmed everything. Baby seat. Crazy. This is good old mate Matt. I showed you this one last year at Beach Hop and this year's Americana. A very neat executed 67 Camaro. Matt Black in engine bay and interiors very sleek very sleek indeed as I was saying it doesn't really look like Ford Lane anymore plenty of Chevys and uh, that crazy 71 El Camino look at that now we can see pretty clear wow it's a lot of piping but also a lot of power pretty stock interiors and body it's just the motor this the pro charger and the big block Chevy and then we continue this side a few more classics As you can see they go all the way down there and that's precisely where I'm taking you but first why not taking a look at the beach since we're here oh look a road runner Ocean 
right in front of it. What an amazing place. And then we go from a piece of, well, whatever the plate says, to um, a very cool Mopar that I want to show you. Just here, upset. Believe it to be a 66 coronet. Seems to be like a 440. Patina paint job. A very interesting setup, definitely. With the Game Boy there. <laughs> Very cool, Coronet 500, and we have a few Corvettes here, the Dodge truck, an old school build, love the paint job on this one, I don't know if you can catch the flaking, and a very unique truck, Ford truck. Yeah. Oh. And the tilt tilt bed. Oh. And we proceed this way. A few more classics. I gotta hurry up, my GoPro battery is dying. <laughs> I want to make sure I make it out of this muscle car lane by showing it all to you guys. A few more Mustangs, a few more Mustangs, then we have this really cool Cuda, followed by that green GTO from last year. Blackfish 340. Definitely Muscle Car Avenue. An Irox Z and 340 Challenger. And that Plymouth satellite that I showed you from Americana. Let's give it another look, guys. Yeah, that's what I wanted to show you guys. Look at that. And again, this is just one of the many days of the week that this show actually happens, you know, here in Wangamata and the surrounding areas here of Coromandel, New Zealand. Just look at it. What a blessing, eh? So many cool cars all together very overwhelming and interesting at the same time I mean for, for, for the ones that are watching now that have actually lived through the 70s this is probably not not a rare sight but considering that we're 50 years apart to me it's still pretty impressive what about this two-tone color Stegra paint job Camaro Another one that looks like pretty much like a candy. It's a pretty interesting setup here. This is our territory. All Blacks Ford. Okay, good on you. Uh, yep. Two Pontiacs, one convertible, one coupe, both yellow, both stunning. This I, I can't I can't just I can't I don't have any words for this one. It's such a cool car man. I just can't cope with it. And it's it's also it's got a pretty good sound too. This charger, oh my god. Look at that. Actually, there's actually a lot of Mopars here, I gotta say. This char 70 Charger, then we have that 70 Super B. 
there with the vinyl top and then we have this 440 Magnum Challenger RT a few Valiants there and down there we have the uh, the cherry on the cake that bad bee that I showed you from yesterday's Onimana Beach Parade what a thrilling car even, even just hearing it I can imagine what a thrill, thrill of a car must be to drive it now that I have a bit of time I'm gonna show you this uh, Mustang which has a body kit for a Shelby GT500 it's actually been executed pretty well as you can see Budnick steering wheel 5-speed Tramec manual so this car is equipped with the 306 cubic inch and yeah the body kit is pretty good I gotta say trying to get used to the, the wheels those are Simmons wheels but overall pretty well executed to be honest it's quite the eye catcher this is beach shop guys this is what it really means to be here Master cars until the eye can see. I'm currently standing on the on the rubbish bin <laughs> just to bring you the best view that you could possibly have here at Beach of 2021. Look at that. Unbelievable. and that's all for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video as much as i enjoyed being there at the beach um, if you did please consider hitting the like button and subscribing if you haven't already there is another video dropping soon about beach up so stay tuned the muscle cars universe it's gonna be great bye bye